Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Trin. I am Byron and we are on the second level of uh, Dargard Keep, the home of Lord Soth. A dank staircase spirals upward from here. Climb up the stairs? We surely do. And we are on the top floor of Dargard Keep. The decaying stone walls are slimy to the touch. Rats peer at you from their nests behind ancient mold covered tapestries. And I don't want to go down again, I just came up. Oh, apparently, ha, huh, we can't area view here. Now ain't that fun. A deep voice speaks slowly from deep within the keep. Look before you. Two of these doors lead to death, mortal. Make your choice. Uh, can I call somebody? A flash of light blinds you momentarily. When your vision clears, you find that the door you just passed through has been transformed into solid rock. Solid! Solid as a rock! Du -du -du. Alrighty, baby. A deep voice laughs scornfully. Again, you must choose, foolish mortal. Be careful, for the wrong door leads to death. Well, since I choose correctly the last time, I will do that again. Ow! That didn't work. Matt Lofter fills the room. I'm sorry. Should have taken this one. The rise of Lofter fills the air as a pack of half starved were tigers lunge forward, their snarls echo in, s in the small room. Oh, yes. Fine. Were tigers, you say. We slay were tigers. That's what we do with were tigers. So I was actually looking at the wrong part of the map, so. Bleh. That's what you get when air review doesn't work. But were tigers, I mean, come on, really? That's all you can think of. You're dead. You're dead too. Oh, really? At that distance. So it was not that deadly. We encamp and fix and exit. Fine, let's take the door in the middle then. A flash of light blinds you momentarily. When your vision clears, you find that the door you just passed through has been transformed into solid rock. Yeah. Oh, really? 9 Civilization 5? Oh, that's a new one. We still get new copy protection questions. We're almost done with the game. Oh well, let's look it up then. One, two, three, four, five services. Oh, I already had that. I just put it into the wrong thingy. Much better. Moving on, um, yep. So, the voice croons, you have made it this far. Have no doubt that you will get no further. Yeah, well, let's try and pick this one. Lady Lenore is huddled here, waiting for you. I must tell you, 
Sir Deerfrey and I were overcome by death knights on the road. He gave his life so I could escape. They took his body when they left. I fear the worst. She looks fearful. They are looking for me now. Please protect me. I'll give you information in return. For starts, there's a secret passage right ahead of you. Leonor falls back and falls in place behind the party. Oh, she lost her... F ah, okay. That's rather unfortunate. Arrow slits line the western and northern walls of this corner room. Really? I don't see anything. <laughs> uh, let's not go through here. Let's rather... No, you go through here. And I don't really know. And camp and save. This time she doesn't run around uh, away when I... I think the doors are not nice. Poison tipped spikes bristle over the surface of these iron doors. Leonore holds you back. Don't touch it, she says. There's a secret passage somewhere in this chamber. Anything is safer than these doors. What do you do? We leave. You leave the door alone. And the secret passage happens to be here. Nice. Arrow slits land on the northern and eastern walls of this stone room. Area view still doesn't work. Fine, I don't care. So we go through here. A dirty passage lies before you. To move forward, you must brush aside thick curtains of cobwebs. The passage narrows sharply, decomposing rats litter the floor. The passage is so tight here, you must crawl in single file. And we are through. That's very useful. Um, so, what do we have here? The two statues flanking this door slowly turn their heads towards you. Their iron eyes glow with yellow light. Turn back, they say in unison. It is not too late. What do you do? We attack them. The statues become fully animate and return your attack. Um, so there's an iron golem here. Holy hell. And an iron golem there. Good. I mean, not good, but, well, we can't help it. So, ding, ding. Zup. Bup. You don't do anything. You delay. Since it's a large creature, you should probably use your two-handed sword. Boom. Hmm, nice. You missed. You didn't miss. Where is it? Here. Boom. Oh, it's dead already. Hey, Brandy. If you can. You probably can't. Although you could that away and put the shield away and use the stuff sling boom ooh that's nice oh really that should be enough thank you 4850 experience points and um You should probably get your mace back on. So we are in camp and fix and save and move on. Before you stands the remains of your former comrade, Sir Durfee. Its head swivels toward you, a rictus grin pasted on its features, a feathery whisper issues forth. Friends, so good to see you. Please join me. It shovels forward, arms grasping toward you. Spectres appear to join the battle. Water echoes from deep in the keep. 
Uh huh. So we have a few spectres and the undead Durfee. Oh, fine. Fireball. You could try to turn. Ooh, that actually works. I wanted to use the fireball. Mm, no, forget it. I wanted to use the fireball against the specters, but apparently that's no longer necessary. How about we hit Durf? One, two, three. Boom. No. You could actually um, put that away and use the shield and the longsword. Two hit points left. That's not really much. Good night. Oh well. That concludes the story of Sir Durf. The party has won oh, 730 experience points, that's not really much, but we get treasure. What do we get? Longsword, shield and salonic plate. We exit. The face Richter's grin finally relaxes and his clawed fingers are cold. This final death, you recognize the Durfee you knew and befriended. Oh, damn it. Arrow slits, yeah, we know. It's probably in all the, the corners of the map where those arrow slits actually are. You've reached a dead end. Raids scream with delight when they see you have nowhere to run. Normally we don't really run. Oh really, they're on the other side. You try to turn. Nothing happens. You know what? Fireball. One, two, three. Boom. Good night. Yeah, I'm totally scared of race. Fine, let me return it. Okay, and um, hmm, maybe this is a good idea to actually encamp and do a little buffing. Um, what do you have? I'm I'm kind of sad that I lost Sir Durf. We have one resist fire here, one resist fire here, and one resist fire here. That's not enough, actually. You cast a whole person, lose it, and you memorize no a resist fire. And um, maybe you get rid of a uh, detect magic. So resist cold and resist fire. Exit keep. You have a uh, two resist colds. You need another. You have two resist fires. That's cool. You're good. You keep that. You keep that. 
So we need two resist fires and two resist colds. Yeah, I know, it doesn't matter. And uh, hold person. No. So we rest. That worked nicely. How about we start casting our spells? Magic, cast, resist fire on you. And resist cold on you. And resist cold on you. And resist fire on you. You could also cast a prayer. That's it. You cast a resist cold on you and a resist cold on you. Resist fire. Thank you. We already we are, we are already praying, that's good. You cast Resist cold on Genevieve Jolie and resist cold on yourself. Resist fire. So everybody is now fire resistant and cold resistant. We need a bless. And you cast a protection from evil 10 foot radius. You actually cast an enlarge on our friend Randy Spears. And you actually cast an enlarge on Kobe Tai. That's it. We exit save and actually go through that door Lord Soth stands before you so he hisses you have passed my little tests you have earned the right to join my army be assured that you will do so after your deaths we shall see about that oh for fuck's sake what do we have here Lots of and four death knights. Okay. You could actually um no. Oh you miss. Well what you could do is you could move. You can't go there. That sucks big time. Hmm. Okay, how about you stay here? No, wait a second. Um, let's try something. I have to look up the range of a spell. Four plus level, so I would be eighteen. That's awesome. <laughs> Good. Let's see. That's one uh, range of five. You can move the hell away. And now you cast a lightning bolt. 
you hit him. I'm gonna slow it. Yeah, I don't care. You should get your Mace of Disruption out. Oh, Lord Soth is dead. Who would have thought? Um, I think you move away. And end it. Sylvia Saint is terrified. Yeah, you, you, your firewalls are useless. So, what do we have here? 22... We attack you. Boom. You delay. Shit! What are you doing? Can I please kill you? You cast. Hmm. You can't really do anything. No, it's useless. Rekel Darian is forced to flee. Sylvia Saint is forced to flee. Well, I'm just glad we still have Randy Spears here. Um yeah. You stay here because well as long as you're here record No Record Spears uh Sylvia Saint can't flee. No, I will try that again. This sucks. Okay, second try. The only difference now is I also cast it a haste spell. Because apparently it is very important to kill those death knights fast before they terrify my whole party. I thought like maybe a level 14 character would be immune to that shit, but apparently not. Yeah, we do that again. So you are dead now. Ha ha. I don't really like the haste because it ages my characters. But it looks like it's... Oh, you are fucking terrified again. And my mages didn't get away this time. Um. 
Um, you move a little bit away. Sylvia Saint is terrified. But if she's the only one that is terrified, we can take that. You move away. You probably can't cast, no? What do we have here? Oh, a few of those. How annoying. What do you have? You have a wand of lightning. Your hands are full. Use the wand of lightning. To slow down. Really? Oh, that's the end. Fine, then you use it here. Iron Golem is slowed. They're all slowed. You also move away. And end it. missed. So what do we do now is, I don't care about that, I just want to slay them. No more terrifying here. Thank you. <sighs> Feeling much better now. Although it, I... Yeah. They, are, they have aged a year now. But it's better than dying. Where is your 200 sword here? Yeah, go away, Sylvia. That's cool. Dragon is down to 70. Holy fucking one. What did actually happen here? Cast a heal. Cast. Next. Oh, I was on exit. Okay, cast it. And... A manual. Did it... did it help? Yep. Night. I don't care. Good night. And I would say we have won now. 19,478 experience points. Holy yes. Holy hell yes. Lord Soth begins to regenerate. Do you strike him with a rod of omniscience? Um, yes. The rod erupts with a whirlpool of energy. You stand back as things are drawn into the nexus.
as Thoth is pulled inside, he cries, Kitiara, help me! Then his body disappears into the mad storm, gone to another dimension. Oh, well, somebody else has to deal with Lord Thoth now. Well, he said he cannot be killed as long as his castle stands. Why don't we tear it down? Lenore leaps toward the rod when the whirlpool begins to dissipate. Do you try to stop her? Of course. You struggle with Lenore, surprised at her strength and ferocity. She shouts, You are dealing with Kitiara, not some pale thief! Release the rod now, I am still in your depth for freeing me from Soth. Release it and you will live. No? She touches the rod's tip and murmurs an incantation. Her eyes open in surprise as the rod explodes into a new whirlpool. That fool Seb has lied to me. I have destroyed the rod. You are sucked into the maelstorm. Kitiara is drawn away from you and disappears. The knight on duty looks startled at your sudden appearance. Recognizing you, he shouts, The rescuers of Sturm's body have returned. Follow me to the knight's council. The council meeting quickly breaks up uh, when you are brought in. They call for your tale. The ranking knight pronounces, We are very proud of your amazing achievements. Quinn will rest much easier with Lord Soft's demise. Uncovering Ariella's treachery in Kalaman was also a stroke of genius. I am sure you have suffered horribly in the taking of Dargard Keep. The clerics have returned with Storm's body and he has been interred again. All the Knights of Solamnia salute your achievement. It sounds as though Kitiawa has also been transported from our dimension. There is now no leader for the evil forces to rally around. You have succeeded where others, where no others could. Relax and travel as you will. You will not be called again until a new crisis appears. We have hopefully seen the last of the Death Knights of Kryn. The meeting breaks up and you are left on your own. Okay, so we are in camp and fix and rest. Whee. So, we have defeated Lord Soth. All it actually took was a haste spell. And, you know, the most dangerous feature of the Death Knights actually is the ability to, to terrorize your party, to make it afraid and make the party members run away. And there's no actually, actually no way to counter that. I casted a bless and a prayer that increased our saving throws somewhat, but apparently it didn't work. And the only one that really is, you're not affected by fear is Kobitai, because she's a candle. But once Rekel, Randy and Sylvia have been terrified, I had no more melee fighters. So the battle was efficiently over then, effectively over then. But with only Sylvia Saint being terrified, um, Rekel, Dory and Randy Spears still managed to pull it off. So let's take a look. Like that Rekel, Dory has a level 11 Knight of the Rose with 2,477,771 experience points. Randy Spears is a level 14 uh, fighter with 2,478,491 experience points. Sylvia Saint is a Magia Cleric of the 14th level with 2,456,118 experience points. Sarah White is a level 14 White Mage with 2,437,077 experience points. Genevieve Jolie is a level 14 Red Mage with 2,479,549 experience points. And finally, Kobe Chai is a level 12 Mishaka Cleric, level 14 Thief. She can probably go up to the 15th Thief level now with 1,203,346 1, experience points. So I thank you very much for watching, and we'll see each other soon. Take care and goodbye.